However, the trailblazing entrepreneur, founder and CEO of Global Forex Institute and Revoltee PTY LTD may go to jail this time as more fraud charges emerge. This is something new. Good morning guys, welcome to another trailblazing video. It seems like the legal woes for Sandile Shezi just doesn't know no ends. Two cases have been added and as you guys know me, we most definitely gonna talk about it. Please don't forget to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, leave your comments in the comment section. Please do share this around and the last but not least, if you're new here, please do smash that subscribe button. Now you guys know, we've been following Sandile Shezi's cases very very closely ever since he had that thing with Elena Dwaba. Elena Dwaba was actually the very first victim that invested large amounts of money with Sandile Shezi that came to me that told me about everything that is happening. Now as you guys may know in succession it was Elena Dwaba that first had his case, he got paid out, Angela Mabena saw that, she made her 200,000 rand case, she got paid out, the principal saw that, he made his one, I think it's 1.1 million rand or 1.2 million rand case and then now we are sitting with these cases so like I told you guys when people see there's being justice done for two or more people they almost definitely gonna come for the pound of flesh now when you take a look at this article it starts off immediately by saying controversial forex trader Sandy Lechezi faces more fraud charges now this should be highly alarming because I mean the cases are just adding on he could pay away angela mabena he could pay away ellen ledwaba but as the cases piled up the money started getting finished going to this article you can see it reads sandy lechezi is in hot soup as he faces more fraud charges the celebrated forex trader guru is stopping the trends as two fraud cases involving 600,000 and 156,000 were reported against him the fraud cases were reported at santon police station shezi faces more fraud charges after he was involved in another legal battle as his third alleged victim opened a theft case in against him in in October, in October, rumors were making rounds on social media that he was said to be going to court after he scammed a retired Limpopo principal of 1 million rand. It's unclear whether he attended the court, but the story was buried and Shezi was reported to have paid the money in exchange for the Limpopo principal dropping the criminal case against him. So, if that is true, and the principal dropped the case against him, it is Elena Dwaba's 500k, right? It is Angela Mabena's 200k and then the principal's 1 million. So that means he paid so far 1.7 million rand in refunds. And when you take into consideration that the newer cases is for 600 and 156,000 respectively, that is another 756k. So that would bring the total around to 2.4 something million if i'm not mistaken and that is a huge amount of money going on however the trailblazing entrepreneur founder and ceo of global forex institute and revolte pty ltd may go to jail this time as more fraud charges emerge this is something new sandile is facing two more fraud charges which involve a considerable sum of rands and this is the fourth time he has been on the wrong side of the law due to scamming his customers do you know this jail time not to come from a point of oh i'm finding pleasure in sandy lechezi going to jail because i'm not jail is a very intense place to be at but what i most definitely know is that the people that this man have scammed number one they will be happy that he is seeing justice in that light and the number two the people i think in large that have lost money to scammers they will find it very delightful that someone is finally going to jail for this and that his money can't get him out of the trouble out of trouble this time so going on it says 
Sandy Lechezi faces more fraud charges, which we know. Mzanzi is worried that he may end up in jail this time because his fraud cases are now numerous and a massive sum of money is involved. A Twitter user commented, We are tired of Sandile always facing fraud charges and getting away with it. Like I told you guys, the law should do something about it. And he faces jail, Haivo. To think I once wished to be him, young and moneyed near 40 and still struggling to have six figures people should learn and stop investing in his forex trading company he is a thief although he has been in court several times due to due to fraud san Dile has his ways of escaping jail and this is what this twitter user basically encapsulated the fact that he's always facing the law but he never goes to jail he always has a unique way of clearing his name and escaping being arrested. He will pay back the money that he frauded the victim in exchange for them withdrawing the charges against him. In October, Shazi was reportedly nabbed in a movie style manner at the same court after he had just made an appearance on another matter of defrauding a Johannesburg business person of close to half a million rand. However, he escaped jail by paying off the 500,000 rand and became free. It's really sad that he once had an image of the youngest made millionaire, but now he is going out as a fraudster. It's really sad. Although he is controversial, Sandy Lachese is a young and dynamic businessman who became a certified millionaire at 23. I wonder who certified this because whoever certified that needs to come to us because they were the start of this Sandy Lachese problems. He is one of the youngest millionaires in Mzanzi and possesses valuable assets, cars and houses as a testament to his wealth. Well, if he was the youngest made millionaire with money, then I don't think his villa would have been repossessed or his other cars for that matter. Where's his helicopter? We don't know. So these news articles that these people write now have also been detrimental um, up until, you know, some time because and when i say detrimental up until some time i mean for the time that they posted let's say they are posting a good article about this one now everyone that reads that article right some people is gonna go and buy into the stuff that they are talking about in this article right so these media houses they need to be held responsible as well and one house as you guys can see cliffcentral.com now i am very certain he was there for an interview sandy lachese was on 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 um, news 24. you know the very same news 24 that is exposing him now because this article comes from news 24 it's just hidden behind a paywall but the same news 24 that is exposing shazi now is the same news 24 that was touting his image as the youngest self-made millionaire at 23. so this is why guys i'm gonna stick to my lane i'm gonna stick to exposing because i'm not gonna help anyone build up their reputation and then once they get to a level they're gonna start scamming people because i with the platform that i have would be just as complicit as him in his scamming ways and that is something that i do not want to be a part of fuck i don't want to be a part of scamming people because me i want to sleep very peaceful at night Thank you so much if you came this far. If you enjoyed this video, please do smash the like button. Please do leave your comments in the comment section. I'm very keen to hear what you guys have to say. Please do share this around. And if you're new, please do smash that subscribe button. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.